When's a good time? When's a good time for me to stop by for like 15 minutes, man? And uh, I'll pl I plan on seeing you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to helping you. We'll talk soon. God bless you. God bless you. What are you trying to say? I'm just trying to say, bro. Like, if people are asleep on buying properties and, and wholesaling. It's twenty thousand for a lot in Dallas. Are you kidding me? Hello, Miss Brooks. Hey, this is uh, Gio. I'm not sure if you remember me. We spoke a while back in regards to your property. Did you ever sell that property? Yes, yeah, girl. Oh, man. Okay. Do you have any other properties you're looking to take offers on? I've got one, but it's just pretty high for anybody to resell. Where's that property located? In Grand Prairie, right around the corner from the other one was 1,500 square foot, completely remodeled. Okay. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got everything brand new. What are your plans with it? Do you have it listed on the market right now? No, I don't have it. I don't have it listed. Got it. Got it. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Brooks. You said you want 300 for it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some some research on it. Well, Mr. Brooks, what what if I was able to pay on this property close to what you're asking plus interest if you financed it to me on a note and I put some money down on it? No, I don't, I ain't interested. Okay, sounds great. Well, I got a call coming in, Mr. Brooks. I'll be calling you back right, soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was trying to give you a call. Yes, this is Gio. I'm not sure if you remember me. We spoke a while ago in regards to your property over there. Okay. Did you end up selling that, that property? Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Do you have any others that you were taking offers on at the moment? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> right now, I'm actually looking to buy something. Are you? Okay, for yourself or for investment purposes? For investment purposes. Okay. What What are you in the market for? Um, single family. Okay. Well, I, I come across quite a few deals, and you know, obviously, I can't buy them all, so I can take down your email address, and if I, you know, see anything that meets your criteria, I can send it to you. Um, that'd be great. Would it be possible for you to just text me? Sure. Anything in like Tarrant County or? Not Tarrant or Fargo County, Johnson County, Hood County. Okay. Any of those areas. Yeah. Awesome. Well, pleasure t uh, speaking with you, Marvin. We'll oh, talk thank soon. You. Just got a buyer. Good job. Hey, what's up, Lexi? Hey, uh, I just want to let you know all three times a month is funded. And, hey, um, you got thir 13 for the month so far? Yeah, we're just getting started. We still got next week. All right, bet. Send it over, I'll sign it. Or do you have a sign? I'll sign it. Okay, bye. Hello. Miss Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Hey, this is Gio. I'm not sure if you remember me. We spoke a while ago in regards to your property over the drive. Oh, it's already been sold. Oh, man. Did, do you have any other properties you plan on selling anytime soon? No, I don't. Well, God bless you. I hope all is well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Earl. Yes, ma'am. Hey, this is Gio. I'm not sure if you remember me. We spoke a while back in regards to your property on Street. Did you end up selling that property? Oh, good. Your name again? Gio. Gio. Yes, ma'am. Did you end up selling that property over on Street? Well, it's yeah, a man kind of the day he went. He did taxes and stuff. Owned it and then the city of Puerto on it. No problem with the city, so I don't know what's going on. So what do you want to do with it? Okay. Do you have a price so like on what what you are trying to okay. walk away with or? I don't. I don't. I'm not uh, expecting yeah. a bunch of money because yeah, at the end of the time, I don't think it's going to be in the evening with twenty thousand dollars. Because I might. Because I've I've worked with quite a few people that have been in your situation before, and I've been able to help them. Sometimes they walk away with some. Sometimes they don't. But at the end of the day, I always help them. If you can help, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, um, when's a good time for us to for us to talk? Cause I, I what I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna I'm gonna have to put together an agreement and send it to you, and then I can get this process started. All I need is about two weeks, and I can call the city and see and, and talk to them and see if I can negotiate and get these uh get these liens down. And that would be no expense to you. I can definitely help you.
Okay, well, I'll tell you what, what I, what I have to do to get this process started is I, I, I have to have an agreement in place. I can, I can, I can put something together for you and email it to you. That way you can review it. Yeah, you can't email it because yeah. I, I don't have to do all that. Okay, yeah. you, live, you live in Dallas? Um, that's tired. Uh -huh. Okay, um, we're in Dallas. Our office is in... I used to live in Dallas, so I know where it is. Okay. I'm in Oak Cliff. Okay. Now either we can meet, or I can come to you, or you can come to our office. Whatever is more convenient for you. Well, when's a good time for me to stop by for like 15 minutes, man? I'm gonna see if I can stop by tomorrow afternoon, cause I'll probably be in that area, and I can just stop by for 15 minutes. Okay. I plan on seeing you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to helping you. We'll talk soon. God bless you. God bless you. This has 20,000 in liens though. I sell for like thirty to forty thousand, bro. Making calls and locking up deals, like I don't want to say it's too easy, but it's almost too easy, bro. Like you just have to put in the work. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just trying to say, bro. Like if people are asleep on buying properties and, and wholesaling them. Like they think it's so hard, but it's not. These are leads from last year, 2020, that are in my WhatsApp group where my VA used to send all the hot leads to. I'm just calling. Them. <laughs> Just set up an appointment. This lady wants to sell. I lost twenty thousand for a lot in Dallas. Are you kidding me? Or there's twenty thousand in lien. She won't, from the notes it says she wants to. She's okay with walking away with three thousand, if that. So right now we're headed to Oak Cliff. I haven't been on a seller's appointment in I don't know how long. It's been a good minute, but uh, feels good to be in the trenches. Let me tell you that. So the only reason I'm going out here is because this is an elderly lady and this is a certified bag. What I mean by that is, you know, if we can't sell it, I'll buy it myself because I, I, it's such a good deal. Lots out there are selling for anywhere between 35 and 45. Uh, this lot's clear, has utilities. I mentioned this lot and the area that it's in to my dispositions department and they called a few of their uh, VIP investors and said, hey, we're potentially going to get a, a lot in this area. Would you be interested, you know, what price range are you paying for lots that are this big in this area? And so yesterday, I had some free time, so I made a few calls. I wanna say I maybe made, no joke, 12 calls and booked this appointment. So this was a follow-up call. So guys, the fortune is in the follow-up. Everybody's so focused on getting new leads and, and generating more leads and getting as many leads as they possibly can, but they're not nurturing these leads. Guys, you have to nurture your leads. The fortune is in the follow-up. So how do you nurture the leads? One, you want to pay attention and cater to the motivated sellers, okay? And so what's a motivated seller? A motivated seller is somebody that wants to sell in 30 days or less. They uh, have a reason for selling. Maybe they're going through a divorce, maybe they inherited the property, maybe they have to move out of state for a job, whatever that may be. Uh, this person has a reason for selling and if you do make them, them an offer that they would consider, they'd be willing to move forward in the next 30 days. So this is somebody you wanna cater to. Somebody that comes in your database from your lead generation uh, marketing that tells you that they don't wanna sell until six months from now or a year from now. I wouldn't say that's somebody that's necessarily motivated. Although, I would, I would still ask them questions like, you know, what is your reason for selling? And why are you wanting to wait this long? What if I was able to get you close to what you're asking, would you be able to close faster? And I'd ask questions to see if maybe the, the time frame is just a thought in their mind. They're not dead set on that six months to 12 months. But if they are, I'm putting them in a completely separate database. I gotta cater to the people that are ready to sell right now. But I'm still gonna follow up with that person. You guys, this happens all the time. And you know when I was fresh in the game, you know didn't have a mentor I didn't really have somebody that uh, helped me with this and so I, I found out the hard way So I was generating a lot of leads had a lot of leads in my database I talked to a lot of people that said they were gonna sell six months from now I followed up five months from now. They said they already sold it and this kept happening so with that being said, guys, make sure that you have a follow-up process. It's very important. Um, if you're not doing this, money's gonna slip through the cracks, okay? So don't focus so much on generating a bunch of leads, a bunch of leads, making an offer and never talking to them again. Make the offer, find out when they wanna sell. Make sure you are following up with them uh, before the time that they said they wanna sell. Yeah. So it's raining right now. I should just turn around, huh? Man, get the <laughs> <laughs> We still going, bro. This is rain, man. That's one thing about me, man. 
when it comes to money and when it comes to getting a check and getting a bag, which is what I'm doing right now, it's certified, secure, waiting for me to go get it. I don't care if it's rain or snow, whatever, man. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go and get it. As long as, uh, <laughs> you know, there's not a tornado warning or <clears throat> anything of that nature, an earthquake or something like that, that's different. But if it's just raining, snowing, I don't care, man. I'm, we, we still going. You need to be honest. You're gonna definitely do more volume virtually, but my juiciest deals and the biggest deals I ever did were the deals I locked up in person. Why? Because you can get more personable. Starting off, if you're a one-man show, you get an appointment or you, you're, you're talking to a seller that's somewhere local, I suggest going out there and, and meeting them if you can. I know due to the circumstances with COVID, you know, the seller might be weird about stuff, but if they allow you to I would go out there just to get the experience. There's nothing like the face-to-face -face interaction. You know, if, if this seller's getting a bunch of phone calls from people, but you're the one person that goes out there and meets with them, and they you know, are able to put a face to your name, you definitely have leverage. So I'm looking forward to this. I haven't been to one in a while. So this lady called her. It was an old lead in our database. And so I looked it up on, on the, uh, on the uh, tax site. Uh, 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 damn, <laughs> bro, okay, I think this is it, bro. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, we're good, bro. Is, no, it is, bro. Man, this is my hood, bro. What you talking about? It's <laughs> a uh, fuel city. Big T's back there. You ever been there? Big T's? Nah, man. I worked there for almost a year and a half, two years. Bro. What'd you sell? That's what really taught me to like taught me how to hustle, bro. What'd you sell? Uh, fake, uh, fake, uh, <laughs> fake, <laughs> fake G-Shocks. I started off with fake. <laughs> bro, that's all they have there, bro. It's fake stuff. Trying to get you a Gucci belt or what? <laughs> a Fuji? <laughs> and you got the strap. You got a call slipping? Nah, bro, I got the hands. Bro. You got the hands? The hands, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I don't want no smoke, bro. Not no clip, man. <clears throat> All right. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I'm outside. Okay, I'll be to the door. All right. You doing all right today? Yes, ma'am. Manny. Manny. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Hey, V.